uh, prayer that our Lord wanted from us is a prayer that is humble and a prayer that is very sincere. Saint Teresa of Avila highlighted when she talks about humility that when we are sincere and we're humble, there are three things that comprise it, in fact. One is the knowledge of who is God or who God is, the knowledge about ourselves before God, and the knowledge of how we stand, how we behave, with walking in truth. The sincerity is recognition of the truth. It is telling the truth you know, and knowing who we are, our position before God. The prayer of the Pharisee is not such, it's not humble prayer because, in fact, it is not prayer. It is not something that is heard, it's not heard by God uh, because it is not sincere, because it is lacking that acknowledgement of who he was before God. Sins and this is very important, should not detract us from prayer. And if they are sincerely acknowledged, on the contrary, they have to move us to pray. Now, many times, uh, it really is discouraging. I, I, I know, no, several have told me, I myself had the experience as well. But when we are in the state of sin, it's not easy to pray, you know, because we know we, there's a lot of guilt, there's a lot of discouragement, we have given in, for example, we have offended the Lord. No, but in this aspect, no, it seems that He wants the sin itself to be the prime mover, aside from the grace, towards God. If a person has this guilt, continue, now continue, I have that uh, humility because even in that state, there are, there's uh, something that could move him to pray and that is asking for pardon. Sins cannot detract us from prayer. No? Uh, so the regularity of mental prayer continues, uh, rain or shine, no, whatever happens to us.